What's going on, paint the fifth season? So right now we're coming to an end of this five-day water fast. I'm currently also on 10 days of the semen retention. Um, all in all, this is something that was an eye-open experience, just teaching me the true discipline of um, knowing what you want and knowing what you need. Two very different things. So um, I definitely was having some severe cravings um, on day four of this five-day water fast. Dreams of steak. Um, fantasizing honestly about steak being able to almost taste steak on my tongue like I said almost like a hallucinogenic type of feeling like I literally could taste the steak um, crazy I could taste the flavor and the marble and everything so I guess you could guess what I'm eating for dinner tonight so going forth um, like I said I utilize this practice more or less to build myself up build up my willpower um, build up my inner integrity and grit um, by using this practice it has truly shown me what um, I'm able to do knowing I have a good well paying job I could always go out and get four or five steaks that night I actually went to Target um, grabbed an air fryer and I almost prepared to break this fast how I wanted to do it myself you know today um, January 6th 2020 which is crazy we're here already so going forward um use some of these these um tips and advice that i gave you if you would like to try to not only become better but be better because it is a yoda saying try or try not do or do not it's um one of the two there's no you could do and do not at the same time that's a push and a pull, a negative and a positive. You have to make up your mind and fully commit to the process and um, stick to it through the end. Um, if you want anything in life, that is what you must do. And I know a lot of you guys on here might be actually trying to maximize your potential in the gym as well. So I'm going to go over three key things that you could do to really maximize your potential. If you want to get lean as well as build muscle. So number one, it is fasting 16 hours into a fast. Um, not fast, I'm sorry, working out 16 hours into a fast. So by you actually exercising 16 hours into a fast, you use your body's biological make to not only maximize your potential, but you get the same effect as $1,000 worth of HGH. So when you work out 16 hours into a fast, your body is made for survival. So it wants to give you the extra bit of burst of energy to get food, um, get nutrients, and essentially stay alive as if you were to be hunting and not be hunted. So your body actually will begin to produce it's about 1800 to two to 2200 percent of your natural heh levels which are coursing through your body so what that means is if you don't know heh is muscle sparing and um fat burning so it's the best type of push and pull like the do or do not it's one of those situations you get rid of the bad and you definitely influence the good which you are trying to accomplish anyways by doing this approach like i said it's only right that you'll be able to build muscle while burning fat simultaneously. Um, rule number two, work out and do volume. Get in the gym and get underneath that bar. Put on as much weight as you can or grab as heavy as dumbbells you can and rip it out for as many reps as you can. Um, makes no sense doing, let's say, 100 reps. 100 pounds for five um, reps on, let's say, a dumbbell incline press, and then you have to drop down to a 60 because you tax your muscle or you're preparing and um, trying to preserve muscle so that you have more endurance for the last three sets. Whereas what I do is I just will go on the bench straight up and do um, 100 pounds on the dumbbell press, and then I'll go for, give or take, about 20 to 30 reps, as heavy as I can, and really rep it out continuously. Go, go, go. My muscles are fresh, so I want to tax it and begin to break down that muscle so it becomes stronger, durable, and as well as um, more aesthetically um, good looking. So. And step number three, keep your protein super high, super high. The other macros are also important, but more or less for me, if it comes to building muscles, nothing is going to be more important for your body and development. Um, if your muscle growth is the um, the end goal, then getting your protein level is super high. I always say go for 1.5 grams per body body pound, um, the lean body mass. But me, I like to stick around 300 grams to um, 350, sometimes even up to 400 or 450. It is a super lot of um, amount of protein, but like I said, if you want to build lean, strong muscle, that is the way to do it because protein does not really um, digest the same way as an energy carb would or a fat carb would or fat energy would. So 
you utilize your body's benefit and how it actually um how it actually acknowledges these different type of energy sources which are carbs and fats to your potential to not only get bigger and stronger but leaner as well have a good one